Ryan goes for it. Got a bit of room on his legs. Realized that square leg was in. And so the hit was on. Difficult. For bowlers, if they go on the pads, if you strand, he's given it a thump over square leg. Well, a big moment for this man. First ball finds a gap on the offside. Could run away before he wants to forget it. It's like a stump. I think what he learned is that there's very little room for error. Oh, good shot. Just tells you how well the ball is coming onto the bat. Picked the line and just drove through it. Dangerous player. He hasn't really clicked an in yet. Somebody who likes the ball to come onto the bat. And in fact, he's pulled the ball to where the fielder was. So as it turns out, some 21 for no loss. Right, just goes through with the shot. And it goes a long way. Take which he hit that and tells you how difficult it is with his field restrictions on. And particularly on this pitch, generally turn on any surface. But uh, you can see this is such a good pitch to bat on. You can play through the line, and that's exactly what uh, Martin Guptill has done. Straight lofted. And yet again, well, this time he gets a boundary. Remember, only two fielders outside the PR circle for the uh, first six overs. Wicket. That's a spectacle. Right, this is colossal. That, it went into orbit and descended into the stadium. But this is a big over 16. Not just over the uh, the boundary. The boundaries have, have been brought inside for limited overs because this has gone into the crowd. And then going down, big up here from the bowler. I think it's more a marble than road. Yeah, well, Martin Gupps, the umpire, did not really look at it. Slightly down the leg side, but 145 kilometers an hour. Well, it's hard the gap. Ball coming onto the band quickly, disappearing to the boundary. Back. Well, he's muscled that. Maybe that's good. It's very flat. And it's a sit. It's a powerful player, Colin Munro. Yeah, the slow one. Uh, didn't bounce enough. It was ready. Yeah, the holdings are. Well, that's a clean it. And that's a six on any boundary. It's another massive one seal, and they're looking good here. Eight over C8 for no wicket. They're again the line, but this has disappeared once again into the night sky, into the sands. Oh, that's big boy power, isn't it? Yeah, there's a long way. Does. Keeps the head down once he's hit it. Wonderful shot. Yeah, nothing wrong. Again, huge. Has he got enough? Wow, well fielded. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I think he thought this was a clean hit. Was going to sail over the boundary rope. Suggested mistiming of the lofted shot. In his mind, thought that was going. Might look a very good attempt. Well, anything here. 10 overs gone. 83 for over again. Pull this one. This should be out. Oh, no. Gone straight through the hands of Shreya Sayer. New Zealand after 11. 104 loss. Straight up in the air, chance again, this time, yes. Taken and taken to Harik Pandya. He's doing quite too many this one. Looking to get to his half speed. Hit the arc of the bat. Yes, he was looking to get him. Ball spun a little bit, the bat's got it. Harik Pandya has taken more difficult catches than this one. It's a wicket, New Zealand. It's Gupta. Oh, gone. Gone here with a good throw. No, poor. It's a poor throw, Rohit Sharma. Well, now this is a regulation pick up and throw, but maybe see the dialing throw or an, even a half decent. Or they practice, practice, practice. Well, six more. Good timing from Monroe on this occasion. Can be predictable. Instant because that accuracy itself can go against it because uh, the batsmen know that it's going to be on that length. They... Swung away into the gap. Powerful from Williamson this time. His first boundary. Straight. And one bounce for the Yorkers not. And one right up the middle of the bat. One bounce into the boundary. But this is gonna be another. And those. And those. How high has that gone? Went far enough. S sixth maximum. 136. And that'll be four as well. Lovely timing. Hyderabad say would have uh, played in the nets, giving him room outside the off stump, and uh, 
the New Zealand skipper. Good. Whip that away. Chance in the deep. Taken. Mohamed Siraj has got his hat. And watch the next ball that he bowls. The body language will be completely different. The body language of the crowd has so long boundary on the leg side if you're right hand and batting at the end. It's 12. But still well short of the boundary rope. Roy Sharma. Mohamed Siraj gets it. Oh. How's he got that down there? Brilliantly bowled. He can sometimes help. Yes, he was he was out. Good ball for just in between now. He puts it down actually. He got there. India have been magnificent in the a year and this time. Very smart and a slow one. He got there. Through his legs, so uh, that could be around the wicket now. Oh, four runs. It's almost a default option. He does everything. Yeah, slow one once again. He... And we'll just beat the man inside the circle as well. It's tricky setting a field. And so it had to happen. Quick man. Can always change it. It's up in the air. And without Kohli underneath it, but Tantala. This is straight in the middle. Look, he can just hit through the line. Perfectly timed. But Kohli still watches it sail over his head. Oh, now look at that shot. That'll be four. In irrespective of all, you still cannot have a fielder there. Jay, he's gone for 50 de his debut. Back to ball, a century for Paul in Monroe. He's ruined his luck, but he's also played some wonderful shots. And he's got that very quickly indeed. It's a bit four balls, joins a very small list, as I said, of people who've got two T20 in the four innings. Seven, six, fours. His team needed it after. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a good shot. New Zealand need more of these in the end overs. Endovers when the adrenaline is pumping, you want to play some big shot. Just a single, so New Zealand don't get those 200, but 196 is a very good score indeed. And it's been 109 of 58, but once again, boom, up to the 45 of 41. Interestingly, three fours, three sixes, but a lot of dot 29, just with Boomer at 23. Chahel Park. Shot on pull, something that he loves to do, Roy Sharma. And that's how he and India get off the mark. What a lovely shot. We saw some breathtaking shots when New Zealand were batting. Colin Munro, this pitch, yes, we will see some more shots in these 20 overs. Oh, God! He's gone through the gate. Trent ball strikes, not for the first time against Havan, but this is a ball that's just... Yes, he was on his uh, front ball delivered because he's looking for the big shot. It's looking to play a heave on the onside. Mr. Zealand, Havan gone for one, it's six for one. Interesting choice at number three, they've sent this is going to be interesting. Gets off the mark with the boundary. And he's coming to the Indian team on the back of a play not too long ago. In the Ravi Chandan Ashwin, he gets a wide delivery. Oh, there's noise and there's excitement. The crown, the New Zealand feeders, is already reviewing it, the keeper. <laughs> it was convinced. Stand his ground. View it, and then the umpire gave it out from Trent Bolt. Cross seam again. It's nip, nipped away. Got a good piece of the outside edge. 11 for two. For New Zealand. But that's going to be four for New Zealand. And for that, there's such a good sign to get that fifth ball. Will it prove to be costly? Shorten. Good shot. Making room to play on the offside. Shreya Sayer has got going here. 21 for two. It's in the air, but well timed. That's going to be four runs. Bring in that bottom man in. He plays it on the onside. It's a length ball. Lovely. Excellent for Shreya Sait. He loves outside the off stump. Not that wide at all. And at number four. Tremendous. Tremendous on this. Charging him. 35. He is another slow bowler. But the Indian captain has gone down the pitch. He's a spinner. He's wet. And that goes in the gap. Good shot at the over from India's point. Four from it. Leo, you see India is uh, New Zealand's friend at the moment. Four delivery though from Santner. Big full toss. Likes to employ that. Now Kohli. Oh. Now he's gone inside out as well for four. He's picking the gaps beautifully at the moment for India. He doesn't put a foot wrong generally and this time. We'll clear the boundary for six. The every time Kohli shows, he says a power batsman now. 50 of the partnership comes up. 
And already 16, a little too full. It happened in the first innings, that's right in the slot. Well, that's one straight up in the air. Not the easiest from Mandra, but he's under it. And he takes it. I mean, it was coming from Shreyas Iyer, but today, when he comes into ball, he takes it himself. Knuckle delivery. Played that shot to make all the ground. Colin Mandra, bit of Shreyas Iyer, goes for 23 in his... Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah! Oh, Didn't read the wrong one. New Zealand are all over India here. And while he might study the pitch, while he might analyze all the of life, he's got to walk back. Two first ballers against East Sodi. Came, clubbed one, saved, stuck to the crease. It came back sharply. The bat was nowhere. He has to go for one. It's 67 for India. Now Williamson's decision. Trying to do that. Bottom hand, and what a shot that is. This is a glittering innings from Virat Kohli. 79 for four. Yeah, serious timing. That again. He's gone straight again. It's another lovely shot. Another clean hit from Virat Kohli. Once again, going straight. He's become a little bit predictable with that pace, isn't he, Mitchell Sandler? Virat Kohli moves on to 50. Yet another international 50. Oh, this run machine has got 18 T20 international 50s. It's 87 for four. Bottom man, has found the gap as well. So his and of the highest quality. Right, good pitch. Not necessarily. Well, he's gone for it, and he's gone big. That's what he needed. Tried to look for the same thing. Don't have for 16.3. Right, Colin now needs three bits. Another terrific shot. And it's gone for four. So the golden touch of Virat Kohli has stayed, which is a good thing for India, but that front chase is getting off to the ball. Right, he gets hold, gets hold of this one. But it doesn't matter if it's 25 meters beyond, you still get only six. 50 of the partnership comes up, and India need another half dozen of these. Oh, and this is exactly what we're talking about. Right in the slot. One poor delivery in the side. He missed out. Oh, how's that? How's that? Now, what uh, Phillips is asking here is whether Dhoni, in an effort to go back in, has got some power of his boot behind the Comes crease. Comes to Dev, Dev, there's a start with front foot first, please. Shrey delivery, can we have best side on, please? Roll on, roll on, roll on. Yeah, happy with that. I made. Yeah! Oh, that, there was an edge, I think there was. And uh, Kohli didn't bother getting back in, which allowed the keeper to take the bails off if required. But you could hear the edge as it went in. Surely, that's uh, the last draw. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Run rate required up around 20 and quickly. The length is the bounce, is the thing that undoes. Virat Kohli, a faint edge. Phillips breaks this to run down 196. Kohli gone for 65. It's 123 for four. Four. Very fine. There is a man there. He's only about 30, 35 degrees, but still can't get there. Yes, yet you see that down the leg side deflection is going to cost the ball. We'll find the fielder straight at cover, but no alternative but to try and slog every ball. Found himself out of position, and this Indian innings is getting dismantled pretty quickly now. It's a no pace to work with. Look sharp, Patel couldn't get the timing up and over the offside. Safe hands of Patel out for five. It's 130 for six. There is a fielder there, and he will fall short. And once again, it's sand now. Gee, he's bowling well, he's batting well, but he's got a problem with his catching just now. He's made a, he's covered a fair bit of ground though. Uh, another cricketer's uh, misfortune, but uh, yes, I think this is a pretty simple catch. And he's another other. All right, this will go a long, long way. He gets in. It's just a little bit too late. Yes, on it right in the swing of his bat and it's got miles up in the air and this will only go as far as the field Dhoni look great illustration of what we've been talking about about the tactics of Boland's MS Tony and he can't get any timing whatsoever 
So Stoney gone for 49, it's 154 for seven. And that's it then. 156 for seven New Zealand but win by 40 runs. And I think it's fair to say that for almost the entire duration, Gould, who, who took wickets both at the top and the bottom, and then uh, sent her in one. And we now.